Joining us now, David Heinemeiner Hansen. He is co-founder and chief technology office officer at Basecamp and the author of the tweets that initially sparked this investigation. Now, David, very good afternoon to you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me on. So, so uh, talk us through what happened. Take us back to the start. When did you apply for the Apple card? When did your wife apply? And, and how did the uh, responses you got differ? Sure. So I applied for the Apple card soon after it came out and was available to the public. My wife was just as excited about the prospect of having a credit card that was protecting privacy. So she signed up uh, shortly thereafter. I don't remember the exact dates, but we signed up with essentially the same financial information. We both put down the household income. We both supplied uh, the same information and have essentially the same credit record. We've been married for over eight years and have held credit cards in, as joint accounts. And the outcome was just so separate that uh, it made no sense at all. So we tried to appeal that to Apple. And Apple, of course, defers every uh, credit decision to Goldman Sachs. And we went through multiple rounds of trying to escalate this issue to managers and so forth. And we kept hitting our wall or our head against the wall. Essentially, Goldman Sachs just said, this is the algorithm. This is just what it does. We can't explain the inputs. We can't explain why it does what it does. But this is just too bad. And you can check back in six months. Apple did exactly the same thing. When we were contacted by Apple managers after this first broke, the key excuse remained, it's just the algorithm. They wouldn't explain to us how they arrived at their decision. They simply blamed that an algorithm arrived at an answer, and we simply had to take that. And neither of us found that to be fair at all. There is no way I am 20 times as credit worthy as my wife. We live in a community property state. We share finances. We share income. Uh, this simply seemed like a sexist discrimination to us, at least in our case. Now, whether this is a pattern that is mm -hmm. uh, widespread, that's for the regulators to find out. But when we posted about this on Twitter, we got an uh, avalanche of responses, including from Steve Wozniak, saying they had the exact same thing happen to them. Well, do, we had some more details, I guess, uh, David, than just blaming it on algorithm today in, in Goldman Sachs's statement. Specifically, they said that they judge individuals as opposed to a couple as one. D does that give you any more clarity on how this came about? And, and do you accept that that is a legitimate process? Absolutely not. First of all, we checked our credit scores after Apple stated that they use TransUnion. My wife has a higher credit score than I do. So even if there was an individual assessment, that's just bunk. Second of all, if this is solely based on individual uh, sort of assessments, what do you do with, uh, as my wife, a stay-at-home mom? She is, as the IRS would define it on our tax returns, a homemaker. Um, maybe there's a way you can cast that as though her income is zero. Does that mean that Goldman Sachs is not interested in providing credit to any uh, stay-at-home moms in this country? There are millions of stay-at-home moms who technically perhaps can't show any income, even if they're part of a family unit that makes plenty of money uh, and, as in our case, does not have any outstanding credit, has a long history of paying off their cards in full every single month. That is the essence of algorithmic bias and discrimination. It may not be in the source code for this algorithm where it says, if woman, then give them a tenth of the credit rating. But if you discriminate against women in the sense that uh, uh, this is just an individualized assessment and you don't factor in things like shared wealth, shared family income, you are discriminating. So I think they actually made it worse for themselves by going this route. Do, do you see this? In one of your tweets, you said uh, that this process, that Goldman Sachs Apple Card was, quote, effing sexist. Do, do you maintain that, that specifically and intentionally that is the case, or, or is part of this explained by oversight, which, which might not, uh, of course, uh, say it's acceptable, but do, do you stand by those, those words in your tweet? I do, because the intent doesn't matter. What matters is the outcome. And we had sexist outcomes in our case. Uh, I think the uh, uh, Linda uh, Lacewell from the regulator put it just right earlier in an interview where she said, the intention doesn't matter. What matters is the outcome. And the company behind the algorithm is responsible for the outcomes of the algorithm. And this is really the larger point in our case, is that it was impossible for us to get any insight or transparency into this algorithm. They simply claimed that it was what it was. We didn't get to see the inputs. We didn't co get to correct any inputs if they might have been flawed. I don't think that there's someone at Goldman Sachs or at Apple that sits down nefariously wanting to discriminate against women. But it happens all the time nonetheless. And they 
think the other problem here is that Goldman Sachs is essentially asking us just to trust them. The financial industry, and Goldman Sachs in particular, has not earned that trust at all. They have to show proof that they are unbiased, that they are doing a fair and impartial evaluation of credit that applies equally to everyone as protected members. And I think finally, Apple is simply being cowardly by handing this over to Goldman Sachs. It is the Apple card. It's not the Goldman Sachs card. No one cares that Goldman Sachs is actually the credit uh, institution behind this. This is the Apple card. Apple advertises this card as a new kind of credit card designed by Apple, not a bank. So the fact that Apple just defers all material questions to credit worthiness to Goldman Sachs is exceedingly poor. This is the most important feature of the card. Can I use it? How much can I use it? If Apple is not involved in that decision, then they're simply wrong by saying the card is designed by Apple. David, do you know if this has happened to you previously, you and your wife, with other credit cards, as you discussed previously, that you've sort of have done many things as a household, putting together household income? Is this something that you're pinpointing this particular card and product on? Yes. We have not had this issue with American Express, with J.P. Morgan Chase, any of the other credit cards that we've used. And perhaps in part that is because those institutions consider households and consider household income. And I don't think that makes it any better. If uh, women apply for cards individually at those institutions, they should be able to get an absolutely fair and unbiased treatment as well. So perhaps Goldman Sachs, in this instance, is unwittingly uh, sort of betraying the fact that the financial industry perhaps isn't as fair and unbiased as it uh, pretends to be. And I think that that's part of the problem. You can't just pave over this by saying, oh, okay, we'll just... Uh, view household income as the only thing that matters. Because I also actually think it should be possible for a wife to apply for her own credit card, even though she's married to someone and even though she's a stay-at-home mom. There's plenty of scenarios where it makes total sense for someone to have their individual credit card and be able to use that without being uh, associated with their, their husband and wife. Uh, D David, uh, after a, a number of back and forths uh, with Goldman Sachs, uh, I believe now your wife does have the same credit limit as you. Why, why do you think they ultimately did increase her credit limit to, to match yours? I think that's a great point, because this is a PR disaster. And actually, the fact that they raise her credit limit to be exactly the same as mine betrays the fact that there is no individual assessment here. There is just the fact that they had a PR disaster on their hand. Apple called us. Which, by the way, again, also betrays the fact that Apple is not simply delegating this to Goldman Sachs. Apple is intimately involved with this. It was Apple managers who called my wife and said, we will review this. We're very sorry about this. We will bump your credit limit to be exactly the same as your husband. They didn't ask for any new documentation. They didn't ask for anything uh, that might have changed. They simply said, we will fix this. And do you know what? A VIP bump for me and my wife is not going to do anything to fix the structural issues that may be at play here. We need to have full transparency into the algorithms that credit card institutions use to assess credit. Otherwise, we can't audit these things. We simply have to take them at their word, and they haven't earned our word. David, uh, final question. Are you still uh, an Apple and, and Goldman Sachs customer, whether it's with the card or, or other products? Well, I'm still an Apple customer because I want Apple to do better. I believe Apple can do better. I was so excited when Apple decided to launch this credit card because they were going to do better. The whole reason my wife and I signed up for this card was because Apple was going to design this card. They were going to protect our privacy, stop selling purchasing data to data aggregators. And that was exciting. I think Apple just needs to do much better here. They can't simply slap a veneer on the status quo, business as usual, financial uh, chicanery. For Goldman Sachs, uh, I don't feel like I'm a customer of Goldman Sachs. I feel like I'm a customer of Apple. And the fact that Apple chooses to use Goldman Sachs as their implementer for this card is the same thing as though they use Foxconn to put their phones together. Do I go to Foxconn if I have an issue with my iPhone? Of course I don't. I go to Apple. This is an Apple product, and Apple owns this fully. David, thank you so much for joining us.